Ooh, what's going on guys it's your boy dpj here today with another destiny video and in today's destiny video we're going to talk and look at prison of elders but before we get into the video can you guys leave a like that would help me out a bunch if we could reach 4,000 likes that would be absolutely incredible but getting straight into the video okay so what is the prison of elders well it's basically the main attraction that comes with the house of wolves dlc on may 19th in just a couple of weeks i've had the privilege to play early when i was invited to seattle to the bungee headquarters just over a week ago and record a lot of footage so there's a good chance you will learn something new about the prison of elders from watching this video so what is the prison of elders the prison of elders is a prison facility on the reef under the oversight of varix the loyal who is a vendor on the reef a little about varix the loyal he is a fallen warden of the prison of elders he belongs to the house of judgment and has no loyalty to any members of the house of wolves or any of the cows he is one of the few fallen who have remained loyal to the Queen of the Reef. He also narrates the Prison of Elders when you are playing it, which is absolutely epic by the way. So the Prison of Elders and what I played. Uh, me and my fire team, Easy Now and Willis Gaming, we played on level 32. There are four levels you can actually play, 28, 32, 34 and 35. Once you start, you are welcomed by the voice of Varix the Loyal. You spawn into a room, aka the airlock which has five outgoing doors. One at a time, you enter through the door and start a round. Random modifiers will be put into place also. At this precise moment of recording this commentary, I am not 100% sure if the rooms you enter are random or if it's the set same five rooms for each level. I'm pretty sure though that the rooms are different and the different difficulty settings you choose. The first round we played on level 32 was basically three waves of Kabul and I mean a shitload of enemies each time. When we completed that we had to get back to the airlock and proceed onto round two. Round two was three waves of enemies, but in the second room, as well as three waves of enemies, which were hive by the way, we also had to destroy splinter mines, which were spawned in at random places. And as we found out, if one goes off, after its 30 second timer, you have to restart the round. Now, after we destroyed three splinter mines, we were given a reward by Varix the Loyal. The reward spawns into the map and can be different things. We had heavy ammo spawn in, which is basically an unlimited amount of heavy ammo for a certain period of time. And we also got the Scorch Cannon spawn in as well. Now, after completing round two, we again had to get back to the airlock to start round three. The third round was falling. This, like the previous two rounds, we had to fight three waves of enemies. Also, in this round, like round two, we had splinter mines to take care of, but unlike round two, we didn't have to shoot to destroy them, we had to disarm them by standing near them. Also, in this round, I noticed the first of a new enemy in the form of an exploding shank. All three many enemies were new, this one stood out to me the most. They were called the Explorer Shanks, by the way, if you didn't know, and the motherfucker just charged you down and tried to blow you up. Now, after completing round three, we again headed back to the airlock and wait for round 4 to start. Round 4 was hive again, but in this room, unlike the previous three rooms, we had a boss in the form of a massive juiced up knight who went by the name of the Wretch Knight. Until we got this beast down, constant waves of enemies were spawning, wizards and ogres among them. Extremely fun, but rewarding when we brought him down. So after round 4, we went back to the airlock and started the final round of the level 32 prison of elders which was the Kabul. In this round we had to fight the boss of the level 32 prison of elders, Valas Traog, Kabal Juggernaut, who was indeed a fucking juggernaut. Not only was it the aim to take this beast down, he was also accompanied by what it seemed like at the time a thousand Kabul enemies. There was a shitload of them, there really was. From centurions to legionnaires, they were spawning in in mass. Once we took a group down, more would spawn. When we did eventually clear out some of the Kabal enemies, we could focus fire on the boss, Valus Traog. But damn, this dude was crazy. The thing about him, what made him hard was he could re-collaborate his shield, switching it from solar to arc to void in a split second. So teamwork and class loadouts are the way you take him down. Something we eventually did. And damn, did it feel pretty good. After it was said and done, we were rewarded a key for a chest for another room. 
a room you collect your rewards. Now I'm not allowed to show you this room at this precise moment in time, but soon my fellow garden, soon you will witness what awaits you when you complete the Prison of Elders. So the Prison of Elders, what do I think about it? Well I think it's amazing, 100% the thing is amazing. What I played was more than I ever imagined it would be. Me like thousands of other people thought it was going to be some sort of hard mode. And damn, it is so much better. The 45 minutes I did play the first time were the best 45 minutes I've ever played playing Destiny. They really were. I was so drawn into what we were doing and what we had to do. It felt like we were playing for only a few minutes. And when we had to move on to the trials of Osiris, all I wanted to do was go back and play the Prison of Elders. And only playing it on one level and knowing the other levels offer much, much more. I just cannot wait for it to land here on May 19th. I am absolutely certain you guys will love it and what it offers. I'm sure as well it will keep us going for months on end. I really cannot wait for it. But guys, that is the Prison of Elders and what I think about it. Um, this is obviously a cut down version of it. If you guys want to see the full gameplay I recorded, it is 40 plus minutes long. If you guys do want to see it, just let me know down below in that comment section. I don't mind uploading it. It's just if you guys want to see it or not, let me know down below. Also, if you could leave a like, I would appreciate the support. Stay tuned for plenty more House of Rules coverage. I've got a shit ton to upload. If you are new to my channel, subscribe for Daily Destiny. And peace out until next time. Peace!